of some dimension n possibly infinite. That's crazy. <laughs> That's axiom one. Here is, I'm not going to tell you what quantum mechanics is. These are the, oh, this one too, the Dirac von Neumann axioms. You should think of these as the nearest approximation to, say, Newton's laws, Newton's three laws of motion, which axiomatize Newtonian mechanics, or the Maxwell equations, or whatever it is you're using to add. These are the things that are supposed to play that role, according to the textbooks. So this is going to be called textbook or orthodox quantum theory. Now, why do I say Dirac and Von Neumann? Dirac formulated these in a textbook in 1930, Von Neumann in 1932. 1930, that was Principles of Quantum Mechanics. Dirac was in his 20s. Well, Let that sink in. He was like 25. <laughs> Von Neumann, it's 1932, in Mathematical Foundations of Quantum Mechanics, although it was a German title, and I, it's like Mathematic uh, Grand Login der Quantum Mechanics, something like that. Okay. They formulated these axioms then, and here are the axioms. This is what the axioms say, and I want you to pay attention to what they say and what they do not say. So axiom one. Axiom one is about things called quantum states. A systems... Quantum state is a positive semi definite unit trace, which means it's trace class operator or matrix on a Hilbert space of some dimension n possibly infinite. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's axiom one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, if the quantum state, which is denoted by the Greek letter rho <laughs> is rank one. Then it can be factorized as an outer product of the form rho hat equals psi psi dagger. Although we don't usually write it like this, we write it using Dirac's notation, psi, psi, where this funny frame symbol is called a ket, and this funny frame symbol is called a bra. You may wonder why he used these funny words, because if you put them together the other way, they make a bracket. <laughs> Apparently, according to The Strangest Man, a biography of Paul Dirac, written by Graham Farmelow, I highly recommend everything he's written. He's fantastic. His books are amazing. Uh, shortly after this, Dirac was in a dinner with a bunch of very serious University of Cambridge dons who were all talking about various things. And Dirac, who was very odd and rarely spoke, suddenly said, I invented the bra. <laughs> <laughs> and then said nothing more. <laughs> what the heck are these things? Okay, this is a vector. You can think of it as a column vector. We'll talk a little bit about matrices and column vectors for those of you who don't know about it, but it's a column vector. And the dagger just means that we take the column vector and we turn it on its side and complex conjugate all the entries. So this dagger symbol, also known as the adjoint symbol, just means complex conjugate and transpose. So what this is really saying is we're expressing this thing as a row vector multiplied by a column vector that is the same vector except that we have complex conjugated all of the entries. This is row the other way. I always do this. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
Column vector, of course. Column vector, of course. Okay. Column vector multiplied by row vector. Thank you. Okay. Now, we'll review matrix multiplication in a moment, but what this gives you is a matrix, an n by n matrix. This column vector here is n by 1. This row vector here is 1 by n. And you multiply an n by 1 by a 1 by n, you get an n by n, which is what this thing is. This thing is n by n, where n is the dimension of the filter space. When this is possible, when this thing is rank 1 and it is factorizable in this way, we can peel off psi and peel off psi, which is just this column vector. I'll just write it out as psi 1 dot 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 psi i dot 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 through psi n column vector. And this thing is known as the state vector or through a slight abuse of terminology, the wave function. There's your starring player, the protagonist of the story, the wave function. Make sense? It's clear. I, mean, yeah. I, don't, I don't need to say any more. I mean, it's like obvious now how things work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 